I said in the last video, we had a huge surprise for you guys for the LS400, but I didn't get to it. So, we finally got announced, I'm gonna go wide on the Lexus. Today, we're gonna be cutting on the fenders on the Lexus so we can mock up some actual flares. Eventually, later on, we're gonna have Mike wrestling guys help me uh, tack weld, and we're actually gonna mold on the flares. And honestly, we're gonna slam the car to the ground and see where this car goes. So what we did was we came over here and we got the metal flares going. So we have the metal flares. Before we start cutting, we're gonna actually get the dimensions where we do want to cut off. So from here to here, that's like where we're looking about where we're gonna have the flares sit. So right here we measure about three eighths or half an inch of what we want to cut below. So we have enough room once we cut that will have that extra space just in case for any extra work, anything like that. All right, so we did this fender work. What we did is, uh, like I said earlier, we did get the flare, we mocked it on, kind of did the measurements, kind of uh, drew it out, and we had Mike come through and explain to me how Clicos work. Do you want to kind of go over that? Yeah, so basically what a Clico is, um, it's from the whole sheet metal world and everything. But um, basically when you're drilling these holes to attach something or um, putting a patch on something, whatever it is, you're basically using these to align those holes to keep everything from kind of shifting around. If you were to just use tape on here um, as you're drilling these, most likely your holes are going to be off and everything. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hi! The end of this, sir. I'm good, how are you? Uh. I'm not, I'm not dead, so that's good. I, I don't want anybody to die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything in blue Sharpie, it's going. So we're gonna go ahead and cut under this line to have that extra space on top, and then all this is just, we're just gonna get rid of it. So I think this is time where Casey rolls the cinematics. It's just sweaty. I'm so scared to cut the wiring harness, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Huh? The wiring harness? Yeah, Oh, you got me. Listen, we're not professional. This is not an auto body shop. It doesn't say it on the door. So, we literally just sent it. So, right now, uh, I just feathered in the extra metal and the extra pieces I was hanging off. I kind of cleaned that up. Right now, I'm going to put the flare back on, as you guys can see, what the glit goes. And we're gonna see how it looks and see how the measurements of the cutting is and hopefully, hopefully it works out. <laughs> Later. Are you ready for me to come in? Should I do it reverse or just bring it in front? Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video, but second part of the video. Um, it is the following week. We are finishing the rears, cutting the rears. As you guys saw in like the beginning portion of the video, uh, I did buy fender flares for the LS400. 
Um, we are with Mike again today. Josh is coming and then we're still continue Still continue with Casey on the different style of the vlog where Casey's gonna come out, get some cinematics, get some good footage and stuff like that for you guys. Um, we're gonna go ahead and also, I did buy a flapper wheel for taking down the bare metal. So once we're ready to put the flares on, it'll be easier to do metal to metal welding versus kind of leaving all of the previous like paint and stuff like that on. But uh, we're gonna wait for Casey and Josh and then we're probably gonna get started. Listen, that wasn't me, guy. Someone didn't know how to jack up the car before me and that wasn't me. Um, we are gonna use these today to lift up the car to work on the rear. So, but I guess apparently Mike is not liking the pinch weld because someone before me didn't know how to jack up the car. But it's gonna be cool using those today. It's gonna be easier and we won't have any fatalities due to the fact of the jack stands. Oh my goodness. Is that an OG legend himself? What are you doing? I didn't expect you to come today, bro. <laughs> meeting Josh. Are you meeting Josue? Yeah. Look at this thing. The Grapester. It smells like grapes. <laughs> it really does. I have uh, <laughs> It really smells like grapes. I had the manual. You had to do it. I see you, dog. Don't worry. Right here is a really good friend of mine. His name is Pierre, AKA the Grapester. Um, I met Pierre like four, four or five years ago when I first started out. And just like Josh, Mike, and a couple other people, Pierre is a huge inspiration to me, a huge mentor. So for those of you guys that haven't, go ahead and show Pierre some love. He's working on the Galaxy right now and I definitely know that he has another project that he's been working on. So go ahead, follow him, and go check all his stuff out. Is that the man himself? Oh, my bad. You're, you're probably working. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, see you oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Who are you, please? Oh, I'm on your camera. You're on my camera. Camerception. Camerception. All right, guys. So, Casey is here. Um, we are going to go ahead and switch over from the G7X to Casey's camera so he can get better footage for you guys and we can actually start on today's vlog. Sorry, <laughs> I just can't. And as per usual, you already know, put a like, comment down below. I will leave all these guys' Instagram in the description. Shout out to Josh, Mike, and of course, Casey. And of course, no matter how far you get to always remain humble and always make a difference. That's a wrap! Oh, God. <laughs>